All right, so welcome everybody to Shakun Gaming, and we're gonna tackle today the final essential mission before the epilogue of the game, the secrets of Hana Gakuen on hardcore difficulty. Let's go. <laughs> this is it, huh? Gotta say I'm not impressed so far. Patience, Hayato-san. There is more to this little shrine than meets the eye. <gasps> it's a puzzle, isn't it? There is a poem Lady Chio was fond of saying. We all had to learn it by heart. Bird of the vast sky, cat below walks through the plains. All bow to the frog. <laughs> what a curious little haiku. Let us hope I remembered it right. The key to Hanagakuen is hidden within. All right, so we start with a little um, puzzle. I don't know if you can really call this a puzzle. This is like very essential. Quiet. You heard what Aiko said, and uh, for those of you who didn't, let me actually bring the dialogue up. Bird of the vast sky, which means touch the bird first. By the way, do not try to anticipate any complex puzzles. This is just the order in which you touch the things. So first you touch the bird. Bird. Then cat walks below the plains. So I guess the lion or whatever this is. Cat. And finally all bow to the frog. Frog. No noise. The door has opened. Shall we enter? What else would we do, Aiko? Let's go in. Start the mission proper now. That was quite the unusual entrance. Only a small taste of things to come, I assure you. Now, we must navigate the forest path until we reach the front gate. Aha! High walls, fortified gates. That is more what I expected. Judging from that entrance, I bet very little here is what you'd expect. The main gate will be closed. We cannot enter that way. Instead, let us utilize the many hidden parts of Hanagakuen. Statues like these will reveal secret passageways. That one will take us inside. <laughs> How strangely familiar. Once we are in, we will advance through the layers of Hanagakuen until we reach the inner sanctum. As I hoped, Lady Chio is moving between different classes, teaching her new disciples. All right. So, how do we go about this? As we discussed, I will enter the inner sanctum alone. Since Lady Chio will be guarded by samurai, I plan to lay a trap for her at one of her classes. At the temple shrine, I can fill the incense bowl with explosive powder. Ah, yes! She lights up a prayer stick and kaboom! Alternatively, the theater stage can be trapped with poison gas. I see. As smoke emerges from the demon's face, so too will the poison. Takuma-san, I will need your assistance for the poison gas. There should be an alchemy table in the living quarters. The explosive powder we can pick up from the storage area. Both will lie on the path to the inner sanctum. I believe I follow so far. Anything else? One more thing. If I wish to blend in as a disciple, I will need a disguise. <laughs> no surprise there. I can either find a priestess outfit at the temple, or look for stage clothes in the living quarters. Either one will be fine for entering the inner sanctum. These are our options. 
May we choose wisely. Now, let us find out if our skills are a match for my old sensei. All right, and so we let loose two choices again. My choice is not going to be out of wisdom. It's going to be out of boredom because we're going to go for the shortest route. But first, before we even get to that part of choosing a route, I'm going in. We have to get through the forest area first. So let's do a quick save. You can see, let me highlight things for you. There's like various things like traps and whatnot here. You can see denoted in yellow are not only passageways, but also these little traps. Not especially useful is clear. On my way. in the uh, in this game, in this level, but still. The corpse. Who I might utilize this one this? just for fun. Harbors many traps, as this poor man has found out. If we are careful, we can use them to our advantage. Come in. So what I'm thinking now, let's do something a bit more devious. I'm gonna use a body to lure this guy here. I will be silent. <gasps> oh, so exciting! And then, as soon as he comes close, I will murder him with a trap. Nasty trap! Every young disciple learns which paths to walk here and which to avoid. Those who do not learn fast are not here for long. No use waiting. Move like water. All right, so this is gonna be just a case of step by step claiming territory here. This is gonna be a bit more tricky. So maybe we'll have to cause a distraction here to uh, get things rolling. You can see like this guy looks straight ahead. He doesn't look at these two guys. So maybe we could just uh, sneak by this guy and kill these two soldiers with Mugen or something because nobody else is watching on them. So. I must be vigilant. Patience. For the Shogun, I'm ready. I'm gonna use Hayato for destruction purposes maybe and Mugen to do the actual killing. I will be patient. I will be there. Let's get to work. Quiet. <laughs> Let's going. go ahead and throw a simple rock, maybe, while uh, Yuji Kakori. Yes. Mugen does Good. his route here over to this bush. Okay. Oh, All right, and safely through. And now we can just safely murder them, I think. Go. I will be silent. Just need to be careful of that guy there. For duty. Uh, for the Shogun. Obviously, there's a trap here with which we could kill this guy, I think. Another deadly contraption. Some of us used to play out here, mere feet away from these traps. Perhaps it got us used to the presence of death. Hmm. Just a moment. Let's get everybody closer. Set up for the next part, which is be gonna be a bit more complex. Obviously, as is always the case with levels, they always build up on complexity, usually. So the aim here is to reach this statue. It opens like a cave around this area. So we have to go essentially through everybody, which means we gotta have to carefully utilize distractions here because everybody's overlooking each other. You can see the guards look at everybody and there's like a triangle here forming even behind the rock they can see right so there is no easy path towards it this guy though is the key because he kind of overlooks the most of the field move like water so i'm gonna have to uh use some distractions on him all right let's not let's wait out this guy so as not to get revealed i'm going in all right, now I'm gonna go with Hayato at the very edge here. Remember, on elevations, Look you cannot be seen. I'd rather climb the wall or find another way in. Do you see the bird statue next to the bushes? It will open the secret entrance for us. Silent steps. All right, and now it's all about timing. Let's wait for these guys to uh, turn the other way, use the distraction, and kill this guy. This gives me just enough time to drop down. And one of them already bites the dust. All right, now, the easiest thing would be to get somebody behind enemy lines. So let's see if I can get Mugen into these bushes to kill the samurai first. I will be patient. I will be there. I will not fail. For the Shogun. 
Obviously, we're gonna have to employ the destruction yet again. No noise. I am prepared. Maybe you should wait for another pass of these guys. Let's be patient. And then you can see the uh, key thing here is the samurai is not being overlooked by this guy. If you can find a way behind enemy lines, like this always cracks the case wide open for every strategy game. I will not fail. What was that? On my way. I will use my katana. I will not fail. <laughs> with honor. Just in the nick of time as well. I will remain hidden. And now we can do something tricky. On my way. Like I could even use this trap to kill everybody at once. You can see this trap is gonna shoot towards this guy, so if we can catch these guys right in the middle of it. That would work as well. In any case, let's bring up all the team now. All right, let's open this up. Move like water. Move inside. All right, now on to the main part of the mission, actually. First of all, we have to actually choose on a deadly tool, which actually locks us into a path. If we choose the explosive powder, which is very close to us, and what I'm gonna do, probably, because we are right here, explosive powder is right next to us we have to use it on the shrine which is like the only the, a place that only Aiko can enter through this door probably and everybody else here Aiko is gonna have to deal with maybe from some support from the outside by using distractions and whatnot the other path would be to prepare a poison gas which is much farther away like we would have to get through all this territory here climb down make our way here sneakily maybe and get the disguise and prepare the poison that's gonna take too much time too much distance to cover so i'm not gonna go for that explosive powder is gonna be but i'm gonna do this in a more, much more sneaky order than the devs anticipate i'm not gonna go for the powder first i'm gonna go for the disguise first which is over here now you can see this is a highly complex area but if you can skirt like the outer edges like avoid all the traffic in the middle and just stick to the edges. I can actually kind of make it there unscathed. First though, we need to deal with this starting area here. I'm gonna use Yuki. We, we are now at the Shuriken range. Some of the walls here have hidden doorways. I doubt the guards were told about them. Wake up, little tune. I'm gonna use my whistling skills. Who's making noise? One by one, taking out the soldiers. Otherwise, it's extremely difficult to take these guys out. Like, there is not a triangle, there's a quartet of soldiers overlooking each other. You will have to use many distractions and good timing to do this in another way, I guess. Lovely Alright, the next one about to bite the dust, and if he doesn't, I can still jump on him. No Thankfully not required. Right, I don't think we're gonna have to distract anybody else here. So I can just leave the body lying. Now I just have to be careful not to stumble in this guy's vision. Slowly. So we're gonna carefully navigate our own people and bring in maybe Hayat over to this bush or even here to use as a distraction. This guy, I don't think he can see him, yes. So only this guy will need to be distracted. First job though, let's get there. Sneak. Right. Shh. So I'm gonna take a position right over him. Be ready for the kill. Calm, focus. I'm gonna bring in a second guy for distraction. You do not even need to go in the bush actually or all the way around here. The good thing about throwable distractions is you can throw them pretty far. So let's go right on the edge, as far as we can go. And then cue a distraction over here so that this guy looks away. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, so sharp. Strange. Let's hope she's fast enough. And she is, indeed. 
And now we could do an old-fashioned double kill, I guess. There is like nobody looking at this area. Everybody else is looking towards the left. You have to be careful of these guys, but Let's get with going. just a little bit of timing, you can do that as well. Just a quick stabby stab, I guess, in the back. Let's put our vision on this guy so we know when to act. And then I'm gonna wait for these guys to be kind of clear of the action, so they do not spot me killing this guy. What are you waiting for? Let me see you throw more shuriken. We are on a break. <coughs> Let's get going. I'm going in. No noise. No fire. Yeah. To that. Oh, take the body, Yuki. Come on. She doesn't want to pick it up. There you go. All right, so now, now we do have a clear path to essentially go towards the explosive powder keg and the skies, which is this way. But in the end, what the game doesn't tell you right now, you will need to escape, which means, even though I do not need to move Mugen or the old guy, Takuma-san, right now, you will have to uh, escort them towards the exit, which means they will have to actually get through everybody in this area. And they cannot climb, so we will have to clear a path. That is essentially what I'm getting at. Maybe we can clear these guys right away. For duty. What can you tell me about Shuriken? A way to protect myself against one. No. Sword wind. Mm. Uh, just in case anybody wanders over here. Or the Shogun. Let's clear the bodies out as well. I will be silent. I have never seen such a practice range. So, they actually taught you to throw shuriken here, huh? I remember being quite clumsy. Perhaps that is why I never took to them in the end. All right, we gotta be careful of this civilian. Really? By the way. Would have guessed. So we didn't sink too well with that civilian right now. I'm gonna wait for another round here. Patience. Blade for the Shogun. I will be there. Those poles. Do they have blades attached to them? The corridor of dancing poles. It bars entry to the deeper secrets of Hanagaken. A lever behind the wall activates the blades. Perhaps we can lure a few guards into their embrace. Yeah, what these guys are saying essentially, there's various traps here. You could uh, whistle over guys, then activate the traps and have them, uh, you know, killed as soon as they pass through the line of fire. That's not gonna be necessary once we get behind enemy lines, as always. But for now, let's just quickly kill anybody we can. Now, you have one of the um, tougher combinations, I guess, in the game, which is having a samurai and a guard facing each other. It means you have to lure the guard, obviously. There is no other way of doing this, because you have to kill the samurai single-handedly. And what I'm gonna do is simply lure away the soldier. Wait, silence, like maybe behind the house here. Maybe the samurai comes as well. But that's okay. Because I can always kill him with my own samurai here. Oh, Hayato is exposed. Hold on. Get back into cover, Hayato. And now we could uh, continue clearing the area, but I'm not gonna do that because there's, I like, guess, um, an entire battalion of straw hats here that is overlooking the action from the backside. So it's much easier to get somebody behind enemy lines. Like this guy, you could take him out by going this route all the way around him, but the difficult part is not getting to him, is actually this guy who is overlooking him. So we'll have to get somebody in here to cause a distraction, and at this point, it gets too complex, I guess. So we'll do this the other way, the sneaky way. Let's get to work. Oh, that's easy. Right, now we're gonna use our stealthy characters. Glory awaits. We now we're gonna use Aiko a lot of the way. Because she can use the disguise as well as use her flask Rita. for destruction. First order of business. My blade is sharp. Is get everybody. Well, not everybody, but at least two persons in the disguise here to get to the Yuki. Not Yuki, Aiko rather, a disguise. This is probably going to be the toughest part of the mission as well. Always the first piece to a puzzle. Morning snow. Move like water. After that, things unravel usually. All right, so now we've got to get behind this guy. We've got to be careful of everybody else watching the action. Especially this guy. They must not remain. see us. We are about halfway to the inner sanctum. To the west lies the temple complex. And beyond, the shrine. 
To the east are the living quarters, and right past them, the theater stage. Whichever path we choose, we should make sure we pick up what we need along the way.